Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left off last time, we did a bunch of events. Um, we're going to do more of them, I think, because there's more events to be done. Then we have to head up north. I do want to do that advisor quest. Treasures and devils, but actually he's busy at the moment, so maybe we'll just head off and do something else for the time being. How long has he gone for? 12 days. Alright, we'll give him 12 days. Let's head off towards the place where the spores are coming from, apparently. See how that goes down. I won't be home. I'm hoping when we get back we'll have a bunch of new loot to sell for BP, obviously, and then we can claim another land. I want to grab the Northern Gnarl Marches at some point in the near future. Oh wait, before we go too far, hang on one second. Drop off some Storyteller junk. Can you restore anything? Apparently not. Nope, nothing yet. Anything worthy of a story? Same thing as the other time. These are all the same so far. Alright. How much money did we get from all of that junk? 1800, 2100, 400... Nothing yet. Alright, that puts us at how much gold? 4,800, or 48,000 gold, I should say. 4,800 gold would be a paltry amount of money. I'm not saying that if I found $4,800, I'd be disappointed. That'd be pretty nice. I'm to, oh no, we should go talk to Tristian first. He's been waiting on this cult thing for like eight years now. Or at least a couple months. Maybe that's not even available anymore. We'll check it out. He's over this way somewhere. How's his jaw? It's Tristian. He's down there. Does Jod have anything to say? How may I serve you, your grace? Nope. Okay, off to Tristian. That did not work. There we go. And if Tristian has nothing to say, we'll head up. What other quests haven't we done yet? So we've completed all these. We haven't done Renowned Explorer. These are quests... Or sorry. Yeah, we haven't done Renowned Explorer. Just wants me to bring Jubilost to the roll area. We have to go to the... Gudrun River, east of the capital. Um... We need to create a better barony. We're getting closer. We need more leaders. We need to get all the rest of the lands. We need to find these three books. We have... To do another attack at Bald Hilltop again. Do we have enough Gloomberry, Dizzy Head, and Mudleaf? I think we do. I should probably check on that. And we need to find a writer for Shaney. Apparently my dog wanted to chime in. Christine's forehead is wrinkled, as if the priest is deeply puzzled. He's holding a piece of paper covered with writing. We are lucky to have met you. Meet Amalia, loyal follower of the Kingdom of the Cleansed. Do you remember? We've recently been discussing this unusual initiative. The priest raises his eyebrows suggestively. Amalia was so kind as to tell me everything that she and her friends are doing. 
Young Amalia turns her childishly round and freckled face and looks at you with clear green eyes. She wears a simple dress and a necklace made of dried ash berries and is holding a stack of papers. The girl blushes at the priest's words, Please stay a moment, it would be my pleasure for me to tell you about our kingdom. What are you holding? Before Tristian has time to answer, Amalia speaks up. These are invitations to our meetings. Here, take one. We meet at sunset in the appointed place far from the city and its filth, and closer to the goddess and her kingdom. This is where the first faithful conducts the sacraments for all who wish to receive the wisdom of our patron. Amalia hands you one of the leaflets. Soon another meeting will take place. Do come, you and Sir Tristian. Amalia looks at the priest dreamily, then quickly blushes and looks down at her toes. What have you been discussing? I've just been asking how Amalia came to the kingdom. What attracted you to her to this teaching? Amalia suddenly blushes. I- there was someone in my family who followed the goddess's commandments. Soon I will enter the kingdom. And I hope that through loyal service and veneration I will prepare myself for the main test which I have yet to endure. Tristian shakes his head. And your family don't mind that this will happen to you. Are they ready to sacrifice you to their goddess? Of course they are. To be one of the chosen, one of the cleansed, it's a great honor for each of us. You are so young. Why hurry to leave this world before you've experienced it in full? It's wrong to think about yourself. Once I wanted to live in a rest stop, wear dresses, and walk down boulevards. But then these terrible things started happening. So many people in our village died. Amalia looks away. The goddess teaches that selfishness leads to trouble. Now only my now my only wish is to serve the kingdom and the goddess. What did you find out about the kingdom, Tristian? Tristian leans gently towards Amalia. The kingdom of the cleansed is a brotherhood for those who believe in the great goddess. Who promises salvation in return for cleansing. Forgive me, Amalia, if I'm missing any important details. Our mission is saving innocent souls from the curse that falls upon the heads of the undeserving. The goddess is ready to guard from evil anyone who kisses the ground and begs for mercy. Those who have rejected their sinful ways may enter the kingdom of the cleansed and pray for their speedy deliverance from the worldly torments. Amalia's voice becomes mono or monotone, as if she's reading from notes, and her eyes stare emptily into the space past her shoulder. To give your life for the goddess, isn't it the greatest honor any of us can receive? And destroying the false ruler, isn't that the truest destiny of all nature's loyal servants? Does your goddess have a name? Yes, but only the first faithful knows it. He is the high priest to whom the goddess appeared. He delivers her commandments and shows us her will. Through him she lays open her design, to clear the tormented ground. Sending signs and opening doors to her creatures through the bodies of mortals. What false ruler are you talking about? Amalia's eyes become round. The Baron, cursed by the goddess, he is the source of all our woes. He had cast aside natural law and vandalized the field and forest. Tell me more about this deliverance from worldly torments. Inhabiting this world, where unhappiness and unfairness multiply, taints the soul and turns it from the eternal kingdom of freedom, love, and freedom and love granted by the goddess. But you can cleanse your sins by accepting her gift, a special goodness that sets the cleansed apart. Goodness, what goodness could hide in a painful death? Not everyone is capable of withstanding the test, because the way to cleansing lies through bodily torment. But those who overcome their passions and prove their loyalty become the womb of the goddess to bear her children, wild and beautiful as she herself. The souls of the cleansed rest in the hands of the goddess. You've been brainwashed. She shakes her head. Don't worry, the time will come that you will understand the first faithful was right. I hope it won't be long when you and I will reunite in the embrace of the goddess. Are you aware that I'm the same baron who you're condemning? Christine looks at you fiercely, trying very hard to maintain his polite smile. Amalia examines you, confused and embarrassed. You? It can't be. You're so polite. And Sir Tristian would hardly be friends with such a dreadful creature as the cursed baron. Enough. Enough of this cultist scumbag. Stop! Yeah, help! Tristian, what? You see anger on Tristian's face for the first time since you've known him. What's gotten into you? This was an innocent child, only repeating someone else's words. Never. I repeat again, never stand in my way, Tristian. Tristian holds your stare. I will pray to Saren Ray that I never have to do it again. He looks down at the leaflet he's still holding. His face is sad. A meeting is at, at the appointed place. There are even directions how to get there. It looks like we t it's time we visited this sacrament. Amalia looked at you very fondly, don't you think? Tristian shakes his head and turns grim. You distract us from our goal. Oh, stop. A little fun wouldn't be so bad, would it? Please stop. Not only is she merely a child, but she's also under the influence of these insane preachings. I must help her not take advantage of her gullibility. We have to go. Well, Tristian stood in my way. His goodness might get in our way in the end.
Alright, our group is completely empty again, as is tradition. I'm not sure why our barbarian's at half health, but we'll fix that problem in a minute. We don't really need to worry about leveling up our other characters at the moment. Except for maybe our cleric ones, ones with healing spells. Uh, the reason is that until they get more stat points, there's nothing to improve about their rulership capabilities. It seems only their primary skill and our kingdom's ranking in certain things matter. Now where is this place? The Secret Sanctum. Apparently it's... There we have to go. It looks to be the same place. Now we have to go for both things. So I guess that makes it a pretty easy target. Um... Uh, no. We'll just go here manually. I don't want to load into the Gudrun River map and then have to leave and then load out again. That'd just be kind of annoying. Nope. Uh, I think it's probably this way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's 17 hours to change the group? Are you out of your mind? I have to bring Tristian with me? No, 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 not that. Alright, Grothor is going away. I guess we need a cleric. That kind of sucks. Now we have to level Tristian. Not that he wasn't pretty leveled before, but still. I don't even know what I gave him for skills previously. I need that one that does the things. Not extra channel, the other one. Um, did I already take it earlier? Selective channel, never mind. That's the one I wanted. Alright, what does he even have for skills in terms of combat? So his goddess is Saren Ray, right? My favorite one is the Scimitar. I think he gets favored weapon based on his goddess. One second. Okay. Let's continue on. He's got lots of channeling, which is good, because he's going to need it, because all he's going to do is... ...do channeling for us. Which means he should probably have, like, a bow or something. But at the same time... ...doesn't really make that much of a difference. I'm literally only going to be using him for this area. Maybe I'll just keep him on a channeling duty. All I want him to do 100% is just not die and heal. That's his whole goal. Now we should give him some actual skills, I guess. He has pretty decent skills already. Let's give him aid, though. It's aid group-wide. No, it's just one person. Uh, we'll grab... Bear's Endurance times two times three. Give that to our frontliners. Gives them some extra hit points. Um, we need a Bless spell, which we have one of. That's good enough. We'll get rid of all of these, because I guess we don't need them as much right now. Resist energy communal. Spell magic. He has fireballs? Has domain slots? Oh. Fair enough. And blind. We'll lob a couple fireballs in, that should help. Okay, we got Cure Critical, Restoration we don't need at the moment. Um, we do need Protection from enemy Energy Communal. I'm sure that'll be useful. Freedom of Movement is pretty good. Controlled Fireball. He's going to do some serious damage. Burst of Glory and Breath of Life we have now. Burst of Glory we will not get. Flame Strike though is pretty good. What's Breath of Life actually? Okay. Breath of Light's pretty good. What else do we have?
Cleanse is pretty good. Actually, a decent spell. Alright, we're gonna need to rest because apparently we have a new character with us. Who needs to be part of this meal prep situation. What's Everlight's blessing? Sure, why not? It's not like we're camping right at the foot of an enemy's area. Alright, Secret Sanctum, here we go. I can't believe I have to bring Tristian with me. If I have to cut down Tristian, I'll only be moderately upset. He's a decent healer. It's not his fault, he's an idiot, too. Aren't I supposed to be here at night time? We can loot the area, at least in the meantime. If there's anything to loot here. Which is looking increasingly unlikely. Are we going to go out and rest for a couple- actually, we just rest- can't rest here at all? No. Oh. Well, okay then. We do it my way. There are no enemies here, but also no items at all, which is really weird. Usually there's like a Dryad token, or a Melted Ring, or a piece of helmet, something like that, but there's literally nothing on this map that we can find, at least. Alright then, I guess we'll just head out, rest for another eight hours or so. And then we'll uh, head back when it's nighttime. So it is daytime, of course, right now. I wonder if we can just rest in terms of time. What does that mean? Can I just set time to rest? I just want to rest till, like, 2100 hours. The no, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Can we just wait? I just want to... Let me just manage. How do we do this? Just natural healing? No, that's not gonna help. I just want a time to rest. Do I not? Can I just skip time? One more time, I guess. Okay, what time is it now? Now it's twelve. Like the day after. There's gotta be a better way to rest. I just need to rest until night time. Let's use natural healing only, okay.
It might be nighttime now. I can't tell what time it actually is now. No, we're just losing entire days. At this point. I'm just gonna walk. You know what? Actually, we're gonna quick load. The auto save. Back to like the fourth of Destinus. Because it's really silly losing several days worth of time when we just walk back and forth for a couple hours. It's now six o'clock. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. Now eleven o'clock. That should be night enough. I wish there was like a wait function. Maybe there is, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This is ominous. I won't be halted. We are just in time. The sacrament has already begun. The sky will split, the waters will part, and the ground itself will devour the evil that comes to us from the lands of death. Well, this one's nice and long. Beware false rulers. Their foul walls and rotten locks will not protect their henchmen from nature's wrath. A couple well-placed fireballs. Wait, didn't you order this preacher executed? Yeah, I did. A long time ago. Anyone who stands under the enemy's banner will be crushed by the same unrelenting force that inspires me. All who fall to their knees and devote themselves to the goddess will be cleansed. It should be any who fall to their knees and devote themselves to the goddess. Pray to her, and you'll be granted forgiveness in death. Hail Remus, Herald of the Goddess. Oh, here goes that girl. Brothers and sisters, good people. It's time for the sacrament. The first faithful will bless us. My subjects, servants of the kingdom of the cleanse, today is a special day, the day we have long prayed for. Today we shall finally wash away the filth from our souls and clear the path for our kingdom. For today, the sacrament will end with a long-awaited sacrifice, which will please the goddess all more than all of our prayers. Once, the goddess asked us meager sheep to repent our sins, but in our pride we were deaf to her appeals. Now she demands another sacrifice. He's coming right at us. The face of the first faithful lit by the torches looks like a horrible mask disfigured by rage and furious triumph. What do you say, Baron? Are you prepared to sacrifice your useless life for these people you claim to care about? I will gut every one of you and hang your entrails around the capital to teach the other idiots a lesson. Father, what are you doing? Stop! Alright, this is the perfect time for some well placed fireballs. One there. And. You know what? We should probably make them. At least this one, the controlled fireball, because our group is going in there right now. Out of my <laughs> Damn it, the goddess will know of your betrayal.
Christine's forehead is sweating and he breathes heavily as his eyes scan the battlefield. I can't believe everything turned out like this. The priest gulps and closes his eyes as if trying to summon his courage. It was a trap. You may not have noticed, but the first faithful face changed the instant he noticed you. I think he's been preparing for a visit for a long time. The other cultists are getting away. Please let them be. Their leader is gone. Their friends are dead. They are just lost souls led into temptation by a wicked leader. If we eradicate this affliction, if we are to eradicate this affliction, we must find the first faithful. It wouldn't help even if we tracked down every peasant in this cult. Please let us return to the city and consider how we may find their leader. I will carve out this affliction completely. I don't wish to allow the remains of this insane cult to survive. They will surely hold a grudge against me. I was hoping for another answer. As soon as we reach the capital, I will seek out former cultists and learn where the first faithful might have escaped. Find me in the city later. Hey, okay, you got stuff worth stealing? Any masterwork weapons or anything? Couple composite bows. I guess. Not the worst. Certainly not the best by any means. We do it. Let's go loot way. some barrels. Apparently there's many of them. Are these just normal weapons? They are. So they are garbage. Ooh, port. Port's delicious. Now I kinda want some port. Steal that leather armor. Is that everything? I mean, we really killed them all. Look at the corpses. Alright, we'll try and leave the area. I'm sure it'll pick up things we missed. Charge! Die! 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 Where they come from? Whatever. <laughs> Not like they're big. Did we even get any experience? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, good. Experience is important. Take that, that, and that. Yeah, sure. Man, that's some real garbage. Alright, we successfully killed some people. And that's going to be the end of our video. We're kind of out of time. In the next video, we'll continue on our way, and we will... go meet up with Keston. I don't think this was the same area we needed to get to, so... supposed to actually go to meet Keston. Could be an area over here we haven't seen yet. Or like along here perhaps? Uh, we want to switch up our group though, don't we? I guess we could just do it live on the road, but let's go back to the capital anyways. So there we go, killed some cultists. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was kind of fun. Fireballing all those stupid peasants was a good time. I'm just gonna stop into the... ...throne room and see if there's any missions for us to do. We have excla- wait, there's an exclamation mark on our kingdom tracker. So there's something here for us to do, at least. Alright, we did the illicit hunters. Oh, is it? Is that? Alright, we'll deal with the rest later. We have 414 BPs. That's actually quite a good amount. We'll deal with that another time, though. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time.